हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस हेयर वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स ऑन ईएसआर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी अप्लाइड टू इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू दिस चैप्टर आर आस्क्ड फ्रीक्वेंटली इन वेरियस कॉम्पिटिटिव एज वेल एज जनरल एग्जामिनेशंस इन दिस वीडियो we will discuss general rules for hyperfine splitting if a free radical that is if a species having unpaired electrons contains n non equivalent protons on which the unpaired electron is delocalized if a free radical contains n non equivalent protons on which the unpaired electron can be delocalized the spectrum consisting of 2 to the power n lines will arise corresponding to the spin states mi is equal to plus minus half for n protons let us see it again if a free radical contains n non equivalent protons on which the unpaired electron can be delocalized delocalized the esr signal consists of 2 to the power n lines and these lines arise due to mi is equal to plus minus half for n protons it can be understood as follows if there is one proton in the vicinity of which electron is present two hyperfine lines will be obtained as in the case of hydrogen atom if the unpaired electron is delocalized around two non equivalent protons two into two lines will be obtained in the esr signal on the other hand if the unpaired electron is delocalized around three non equivalent protons three two into two into two that is eight hyperfine lines will be obtained in the esr signal similarly if the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized around n non equivalent protons 2 to the power n lines will be obtained in the esr signal if the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized over n non equivalent protons the esr signal will consist of 2 to the power n hyperfine lines the second rule if a free radical contains n equivalent protons not non equivalent if a free radical contains n equivalent protons on which the unpaired electron is delocalized the esr spectrum the esr signal consisting of n plus 1 lines or 2n into i plus 1 lines will appear if a free radical contains n equivalent protons on which the unpaired electron can be delocalized the esr signal will consist of n plus 1 lines or 2n i plus 1 lines here in the case of proton the value of i is 1 by 2 1 by 
टू टू विल बी कैंसिल्ड आउट एंड द नेट रिजल्ट विल बी एन प्लस वन इट कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज फॉलोज इफ एन अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन इज डी लोकलाइज इज लोकलाइज नॉट डी लोकलाइज अराउंड वन प्रोटोन टू हाइपर फाइन लाइन्स विल बी ऑप्टेंट इन द ई एस आर सिग्नल एज इन द केस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एटम इफ द अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ ए फ्री रेडिकल इज डी लोकलाइज अराउंड टू प्रोटोन्स एन प्लस वन लाइन्स दैट इज थ्री लाइन्स विल बी ऑप्टेंट इन द ई एस आर सिग्नल इफ द अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ ए फ्री रेडिकल इज डी लोकलाइज अराउंड थ्री equivalent protons four hyper fine lines will be obtained in the esr signal similarly if the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized around n equivalent protons the esr signal will consist of n plus 1 lines or 2 ni plus 1 lines and there is a third general rule if an odd electron that is d lock that is the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized over two sets of non equivalent nuclei if the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized over two sets of non equivalent nuclei the number of lines expected in the esr signal is equal to the product of number of lines expected for the each set that is 2 ni i plus 1 multiplied by 2 mij plus 1 this is one set of equivalent protons this is another set of equivalent protons and the protons of these two sets are non equivalent in one set the number of protons or the number of nuclei is n on the other hand that in another set the number of nuclei is m these nuclei have nuclear spin i i while these nuclei have nuclear spin i j here n is number of equivalent nuclei these nuclei are equivalent n is number of equivalent nuclei with nuclear spin i i while m is number of equivalent nuclei with nuclear spin i j these lines are expected in the esr signal due to n number of equivalent nuclei with nuclear spin i j i j not this is i i on the other hand these numbers of hyper fine lines are expected for m number of equivalent nuclei with nuclear spin i j in actual practice the number of hyper fine lines will be equal to the product of number of lines expected for the each set esr spectrum of methyl free radical it is methyl free radical ch3 having one unpaired electron it is obvious that methyl free radical consists of one carbon atom methyl free radical consists of one carbon atom whose nuclear spin is zero the nuclear spin of c12 is equal to 0 and it also contains three equivalent hydrogen atoms 1 2 3 these three hydrogen atoms are equivalent and 
their nuclear spin is equal to 1 by 2. Thus, the unpaired electron of methyl free radical can be delocalized over a set of three equivalent protons. Therefore, the number of lines expected in the ESR spectrum of methyl free radical can be given by rule number 2, that is 2 and i plus 1. Here, the value of n is 3, number of equivalent protons, and the value of nuclear spin is 1 by 2 for hydrogen atom. 2, 2 will be cancelled out, it will be 3 plus 1, that is 4. It means the ESR signal of methyl free radical will consist of four hyperfine lines. Thus, the ESR spectrum of methyl free radical will consist of four lines with intensities ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 as predicted by Pascal triangle. The ESR spectrum of methyl free radical will consist of four hyperfine lines with intensities in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and it is predicted by Pascal triangle which is given on the right side here. It is Pascal triangle. Here we have number of equivalent protons at which around which electron can be delocalized. These are number of protons around which the unpaired electron of free radical can be delocalized. And here these numbers are the number of lines in which ESR signal uh, splits up and their relative intensity. If the unpaired electron is not in the vicinity of any proton, if the number of protons is zero, that is electron is in free state, only one line will be obtained in the ESR signal. If the unpaired electron of a free radical is present in the vicinity of one proton, the ESR signal will split up into two lines with intensities in the ratio 1 is to 1 as in the case of hydrogen atom. If the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized around two equivalent protons, the ESR signal will consist of three lines in 1 is to 2 is to 1 intensity ratio. If the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized around three protons. As in the case of methyl free radical, the ESR signal will consist of four hyperfine lines with intensities in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. And similarly, the four five lines will be obtained if the unpaired electron of a free radical is delocalized around four equivalent protons and these four lines are in the intensity ratio 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 and similarly the number of lines and the intensity ratio for unpaired electron delocalized around 5 and 6 protons, equivalent protons can be predicted by Pascal's triangle. Origin of four hyperfine lines in the ESR signal of methyl free radical. How four 
hyperfine lines arise in the ESR signal of methylphenidyl can be explained as follows. This is the case for a free electron having S equals to half and Ms equals to plus minus 1 by 2. This should be considered. It has no meaning. For a free electron and if there is no magnetic field, Ms equals to plus minus half a spin states have the same energy and thus are degenerate. But in the case of applied magnetic field, these two spin states are split up into Ms equals to minus half and Ms equals to plus half. Ms equals to minus half has lower energy than Ms equals to plus half and it is called G-man effect. One absorption peak is expected in the in this case if the electron is placed if a free electron is placed in a magnetic field one ESR signal is expected. If the electron is subjected to magnetic field applied externally plus magnetic field effect of three protons of methyl free radical. The three protons of methyl free radical can have summation of Mi's values plus 3 by 2, plus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2. All the three protons have the spin in upward direction that is Mi is equal to plus half and accordingly summation of Mi will be plus 3 by 2. Here two protons have a spin in upward direction while the other proton has a spin in the downward direction and summation of Mi's value will be plus half plus half minus 1 that is plus 1 by 2 and similarly the other arrangements of nuclear spin for three protons of methyl free radicals have summation of Mi's values minus 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2. And same situation will be obtained in the higher energy a spin state of electron that is Ms equals to plus 1 by 2. Summation of Mi's values for three protons are given here as minus 3 by 2. All the three protons have a spin in downward direction minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2, minus 3 by 2, it is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 and plus 3 by 2. We have already explained in the previous video that only those transitions between these spin states are allowed which involve delta Mi is equal to 0 and accordingly four transitions are possible involving delta Mi is equal to 0. From minus 3 by 2 to minus 3 by 2. This transition takes place from minus 1 by 2 to minus 1 by 2. This transition takes place from plus 1 by 2 to plus 1 by 2 and this transition takes place from plus 3 by 2 to plus 3 by 2. All these transitions involve delta Mi is equal to 0 and thus four transitions are possible from lower energy level to higher energy level. If the electron is delocalized over, if the electron is delocalized around three protons in methyl free radical. This is why the ESR signal of methyl free radical consists of four hyperfine lines in the intensities ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. The ESR spectrum of methyl free radical is given below. This is a derivative signal. dA by dB is plotted against B. Four hyperfine lines are obtained in the ESR signal of methyl free radical. 
in the intensity ratio 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. ESR spectrum of 1, 4 benzo semiquinone. It is the structure of 1, 4 benzo semiquinone in which the unpaired electron can be delocalized around 4 equivalent protons. In 1, 4 benzo semiquinone, the unpaired electron is delocalized over a set of 4 equivalent protons and therefore 5 lines, n plus 1, 5 lines in the intensity ratio 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1 as predicted by Pascal's triangle will appear in its ESR spectrum and it has been observed experimentally also. The ESR signal of 1,4 benzo semiquinone consists of 5 hyperfine lines with ratio of intensities 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1. The ESR spectrum of 1,4 benzo semiquinone is given here and this ESR signal consists of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 hyperfine lines. ESR spectrum of benzene radical anion. The benzene radical anion, it is benzene radical anion having C6, H6 ring with one unpaired electron and negative charge. It is benzene radical anion. It is produced by the reaction of benzene with sodium metal in an inert solvent such as tetrahydrofuron. In benzene radical anion, the unpaired electron is delocalized over a set of six equivalent protons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Equivalent protons are present in benzene radical anion around which this unpaired electron can be delocalized and therefore the ESR signal of benzene radical anion will consist of n plus 1 that is 7 lines in the intensity ratio 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 into 1. There are 7 hyperfine lines in the ESR signal of benzene radical anion. ESR spectrum of benzene radical anion is given here. dA by dB is plotted against B. There are seven hyperfine lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. There are seven hyperfine lines in the ESR signal of benzene radical anion. The ESR spectrum of naphthalene radical anion. The naphthalene radical anion is formed by the reaction of naphthalene with sodium metal in an inert solvent. This is naphthalene. It is treated with sodium metal in an inert solvent such as THF. Then naphthalene radical anion is obtained which has one unpaired electron and negative charge. This electron has come from sodium atom. In naphthalene radical anion, the unpaired electron is delocalized over two non-equivalent sets of protons, each set having four equivalent protons. 
in naphthalene radical anion, the unpaired electron can be delocalized around 8 protons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But among these 8 protons, 4 protons are similar. A, 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 A. These are equivalent. 4 protons are equivalent. Four other protons marked as B, B, B are also equivalent, but the protons A and B are non-equivalent. <coughs> the naphthalene radical anion consists of two non-equivalent sets of protons and each set of proton has four equivalent protons. There are two sets of protons in naphthalene radical anion. One set contains four equivalent protons, while the other set also has four equivalent protons. But the protons of two sets are non-equivalent. Equivalent protons are A, 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 A and thereafter B, 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 B are also equivalent, but A and B protons are different. Number of hyperfine lines in the ESR spectrum of naphthalene radical anion. It is naphthalene radical anion and the number of lines appearing in its ESR spectrum can be given by rule number 3 discussed earlier. That is 2NII plus 1 multiplied by 2MIJ plus 1. The number of protons in one set is 4, that is the value of n is 4 and ii for proton is 1 by 2. The number of protons m in another set is also 4 and the value of ij is again 1 by 2. 2, 2 will be cancelled out, it will be 5. This term will also become 5, that is the number of lines appearing in the ESR signal of naphthalene radical anion will be 5 multiplied by 5, that is 25. 25 hyperlines are obtained in the ESR signal of naphthalene radical anion. Noteworthy fact. The electron nucleus coupling, the electron nucleus coupling constants are very much bigger than nucleus nucleus coupling constant. The coupling constant between electron and nucleus is much larger than the coupling constant between nucleus and nucleus, and it is due to two regions. An electron can approach nucleus more closely than any other nucleus. An electron can approach the nucleus more closely than one nucleus can approach another nucleus. It means electron can come much closer to a nucleus than two nuclei can come and therefore the coupling constant between electron and nucleus will be greater than the coupling constant between nucleus and nucleus. The magnetic moment of electron, the magnetic moment produced by the electron is about 660 times greater than that of nucleus. It has been discussed in previous videos. The magnetic moment produced by electron had much higher value than the magnetic moment produced by nucleus and this is why the electron nucleus coupling constant is much larger than the coupling constant between nucleus and nucleus. In the ESR spectrum of hydrogen atom, the separation between two lines has been found to be 0 0.05 tesla. This is the 
ESR spectrum of electron in hydrogen atom in magnetic field. It consists of two hyperfine lines and the separation between these two hyperfine lines is called hyperfine a splitting constant. It is denoted by a small a or capital A and this separation is equal to 0 0.05 Tesla. We know that 0 0.34 Tesla is equivalent to 9500 megahertz that is 9.5 gigahertz it has been discussed in the earlier videos and therefore 0 0.05 tesla will correspond to 0 0.34 tesla is equal to 9500 megahertz and therefore this magnetic field 0 0.05 tesla will correspond to 1400 megahertz this is the coupling constant electron nucleus coupling constant in ESR spectroscopy. This electron nucleus coupling is much greater than nucleus nucleus coupling constant which has value about 2 kilohertz in NMR spectroscopy. The nucleus nucleus coupling constant is 2 kilohertz while the electron nucleus coupling constant has value 1400 megahertz it means electron nucleus coupling is much stronger than nucleus nucleus coupling in most of the organic molecules the electron nucleus coupling constants are of the order 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 3 tesla. Please note that in hydrogen atom, the electron nucleus coupling constant is equal to 0 0.05 tesla. This is the electron nucleus coupling constant in hydrogen atom, in which the unpaired electron is localized around one proton. But in most of the organic molecules, the electron nucleus coupling constant is much smaller than this value and it lies in the range 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 3 Tesla. Now we will consider why this happens. These values are much smaller, these values are much smaller than in hydrogen atom which is equal to 0 0.05 Tesla. Because in organic molecules, the unpaired electron is never confined to one nucleus. In hydrogen atom, the unpaired electron is confined to one nucleus. But in organic molecules, the unpaired electron is never confined to one nucleus. It is delocalized to over more than one nucleus and this is why the electron nucleus coupling constant in organic free radicals is much smaller than that in hydrogen atom. Thank you for watching the video with concentration. Please like and share it and if you have not subscribed my channel 8, please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my new videos in time. Thank you again.